Hi everyone, it's John Mitchell and in this video we're going to continue on with ways to optimize our operations or enhance our operations and this one looks at quality management which is the management of the production process or the operations process that ensures the output, remember that's the final good, produced are consistently reliable and durable. Now that could be a tangible manufactured good such as a suit you know, where we're looking for really high quality or a car uh, and, or it could be a service organization which I've got the example there of the ambulance and in order for them to provide their service obviously quality is a really important factor because people's lives and health depend heavily on the quality of their service that they deliver. Now there are many different ways that an organization can look to improve their actual quality but there's three main ones that we're going to look at in this video and throughout this course. If you learn others that is absolutely fine uh, and sometimes the textbooks will different textbooks will use uh, a variety of ones but all of them have these three. So we'll look at these three and they are quality control, quality assurance and total quality management and we'll go into each one of those individually. First of all quality control is a procedure or a set of procedures that aim to ensure that a manufactured good or performed service adheres to a set of quality criteria by using checks at regular intervals. So this is where the organisation will regularly check the products that could be throughout the operation system, it could be the end of the operation system, it could be that they check it, uh, they check every product as it goes through each stage, it could be that they check, you know, one in 20 products at the end of the actual production process or anything in between. How they check and how regular they check is up to them and often that will depend on uh, the level of quality that they're after or the type of product that they're producing but just be thinking that it's you know a set of procedures where they're doing regular checks in order to um, confirm their quality. Now in order to implement a really effective quality control system organizations there's you know probably four main steps that they need to do. First of all they obviously need to identify the required standard. So what is the standard that they're looking for and they're aiming for? and then determine how that will be tested and how often. So how often do we check? How do we actually check uh, the actual product or service that we're producing? We need to collect data and that's where we um, they will compare the results that they've found against the standard and see if there's any discrepancies. And if there is a discrepancy in quality, then they need to take corrective action wherever necessary. Now, just an example. So I've got the ambulance there and their emergency code one. That's when they uh, have their lights and sirens on so it's you know their their top emergency standard and what they're aiming to do is is meet a 15 minutes response time so you know from the call out from when they, they get the call out and then the a van is dispatched then they need they're aiming for a 15 minute response time next they would determine how they're going to be tested obviously it's dispatched to arrival time so that's pretty standard and um, how will they actually measure that well it's Whenever the ambulance arrives, they'll call through that they've arrived at the scene that they need to attend to. And how often they do this for every single call out. That's one of their requirements. Remember, not every organization will do, will check every single product. Um, but in this case, the ambulance, they will check every single time they have a call out. So the data is collected and compared against the standard. For them, it's either they meet the 15 minutes or they don't meet the 15 minutes. So it's either a yes or a no. Um, there might be some circumstances that come along with where they record why they, if they haven't made it, why they didn't make it on time, whether there was a car accident on the road or something like that, that they, you know, minor accident that held up traffic, those kind of things. And then they need to, if, it, if they're consistently not hitting their target of 15 minutes, then they may take some corrective action. And that could be that they implement new locations. Um, they might have to employ more staff, put more vans on the road, improve their communication systems. It could be a, a number of things that are going to help them deliver the quality that they're aiming for. The next strategy is quality assurance and this is a system where an organization meets a set of predetermined quality standards. Now those predetermined quality standards are normally set out by a third party or an independent body. So it's not the organization setting the standard, they're getting a, um, an independent body that has a set of standards and then they try and meet those standards and then they'll be approved by that independent body. So quality assurance, it can help in then improve consumer confidence because the consumer can look at it and they can say, well, 
I know that they've met that they, these particular standards. So some examples, you know, locally is the Australian Heart Foundation, where you get the the heart tick of approval on your products. You have to meet certain standards for them to put, you know, the tick on a food product. There's an international standard called the International Organisation of Standardisation, and we call that an ISO, you know, 9000 series. They'll allow that, you know, depending on the product in the industry, it'll be 9001, 9002, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Just varies with the industry, and what that is is an international set of standards that a, a product can meet in order for them to be quality assured by this international organization for standardization firm. What that does then, they can then put that actual uh, certificate or certification on their product and then consumers can look at that and go, well, I know that this is meeting an international standard of quality. And so that's what quality assurance is, is meeting an independent body's uh, predetermined quality standards. Thirdly and finally, we've got total quality management, which you know you might see it as TQM. It's a continuous organization-wide commitment to excellence in the area of quality. That sounds pretty straightforward, but it is three main elements in there. So first of all, all employees are responsible for quality, and every employee should know their role in, achieve, in helping the organization achieve the quality that they desire. Employees are then empowered, so they're empowered to help improve quality. They're not just you know, seeing that, all right, we've got to make sure that we've got the highest quality. They're then empowered to make decisions and help solve problems on how they can continually improve the quality of the organization. And how they can do that is what we call quality circles, which is where the employees get together in small groups. They meet to solve problems relating to quality or even just discuss ways that they can continually enhance and improve their quality. The key is that uh, total quality management is not is not um, a destination, so it's based on continuous improvement where there's an ongoing commitment to achieving quality, and I've got their journey, not a destination, so they're not looking and saying, well, this is the absolute maximum quality that we want to achieve. It's saying that no matter what, we want to continue to continuously improve our quality. Even if we feel like we've got the best quality in the industry right now, we still think we can improve the quality of our product, the quality of our processes, and the quality of our organization, and that's what continuous improvement is based on. So just to recap, the quality management strategies, we've got quality control where we're doing checks or inspections. Quality assurance is meeting standards for an independent body and then total quality management is where there's a whole organisational approach. Uh, employees are empowered and they get together in small groups called quality circles to discuss uh, ways to enhance the quality and then it's based on continuous improvement. So for questions, activities and more on this video then come on over to teachingbubble.com.